Ministry of Defense, 2021, Year in Review As the security environment surrounding Japan becomes ever more severe, the MLD-SDF continued to engage in various activities in 2021, both at home and abroad. Let's look back on the major activities. On May 24, the MOD-SDF launched SDF large-scale vaccination centers in order to robustly support the vaccination efforts. The centers were operated jointly by the public and private sectors, which was an unprecedented challenge for the SDF. With the cooperation of the citizens, the six-month operation of the centers was completed on November 30. During that period, the centers administered a total of about 1.96 million doses or in other words, about 1% of the total number of vaccinations nationwide. The SDF is engaged in persistent intelligence collection and monitoring and surveillance during peacetime over Japan's territorial waters and airspace, as well as the surrounding sea and airspace so that it can respond to various contingencies immediately and seamlessly. From August 25 to 26, Aircraft developed by China, including a reconnaissance and strike UAV presumed to be the TB-001, were confirmed, passing between Okinawa and Miyakojima Islands. The SDF responded by scrambling fighters. This was the first time that the passing of unmanned aircraft between Okinawa and Miyakojima Islands was made public. In recent years, the development of Chinese and Russian military capabilities has been attracting attention. Against this backdrop, between October 18 and 23, the MOD-SDF confirmed as many as 10 Chinese and Russian naval vessels encircling Japan, passing through the Tsugaru Strait, the waters around the Izu Islands, and the Osumi Strait, and sailing toward the East China Sea. In addition, Takeoff and landing of Chinese and Russian naval helicopters from aircraft carriers were confirmed in the waters around the Izu Islands and in the East China Sea. The MOD SDF conducted monitoring and surveillance with strict vigilance, and actions such as scrambling ASDF fighters were taken in response to the helicopter flights in the vicinity of Japan. This was the first confirmation of large scale and long term activities by China and Russia in the periphery of Japan. In November, a long-distance joint flight of Chinese and Russian bombers was observed in the periphery of Japan for the third time and the ASDF responded by scrambling fighters. The series of joint actions by the Chinese and Russian armed forces signifies the expansion and activation of their activities in the periphery of Japan, and it is thought to be a demonstration to intimidate Japan. In response to attack on Japan, Including its remote islands, the SDF will quickly maneuver and deploy requisite units to block access and landing of invading forces while ensuring maritime and air superiority. In October, takeoff and landing tests of F-35Bs from the destroyer JS Izumo were conducted off the coast of Shikoku with the support of the U.S. Marine Corps and confirmed that the F-35B was capable of takeoff and landing from Izumo. This was the first time the F-35B took off and landed from an MSDF vessel. Izumo-class destroyer will continue to be steadily upgraded to improve its capabilities in the sea and air domains. Japan's current ballistic missile defense is an effective multi-layered defense system with upper-tier interception provided by Aegis-equipped destroyers and lower-tier by Patriot PAC-3, both interconnected and coordinated by the Japan Aerospace Defense Ground Environment Judge. In October, ASDF unit using Patriot and anti-aircraft unit of the U.S. Army conducted shooting training at the McGregor Range in New Mexico in the United States. While GSDF unit using Middle Range SAM and ASDF unit using Patriot conducting their first joint firing exercise. The exercise contributed to improving the comprehensive air and missile defense capability required for future domain operations. 
In August, in view of the situation in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, the Foreign Minister ad interim, Chief Cabinet Security Kato, requested the transportation of Japanese nationals and others out of Afghanistan. In response, Defense Minister Kishi ordered the transportation of Japanese nationals and others who were in the country. The ASDF transport aircrafts, such as C-130 and C-2, the GSTF units which are assigned to guide the Japanese nationals and the others at the site, etc. were dispatched. When disasters such as national disasters occur, the SDF works in collaboration with the local governments to engage in various activities. Due to heavy snowfall from early January, numerous vehicles were stuck on some sections of the Hokuriku Expressway and Tokai Hokuriku Expressway. As a result, the governors of Toyama and Fukui prefectures requested the GSDF 14th Infantry Regiment to provide disaster relief. In this mission, snow removal around standard vehicles and distributions of relief supplies to a total number of 720 vehicles were conducted. On the morning of Saturday, July 3, a mudslide occurred in a residential area in Atami City, Shizuoka Prefecture. On the same day, the governor of Shizuoka Prefecture requested the GSDF 31st Infantry Regiment for disaster relief. In response, the regiment conducted life-saving operations and road clearing activities, rescuing a total of 16 people and clearing a total of 1,020 meters of roads. A total of about 23,000 personnel were involved in this disaster relief mission. On the afternoon of Sunday, October 3, a water pipe bridge along the Musora Bridge in Kinokawa in Wakayama City, Wakayama Prefecture collapsed, cutting off the water supply to about 60,000 households in Kinokawa's northern area. On the same day, the governor of Wakayama Prefecture requested the GSDF 37th Infantry Regiment for disaster relief related to water supply support. A total of about 1,000 tons of water was supplied. Approximately 1,000 personnel in total carried out this operation. The Japan-U.S. Security Arrangements Based on the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty, which marked the 60th anniversary in 2020, together with Japan's own national defense architecture, constitute a cornerstone for Japan's national security. In March, Minister for Foreign Affairs Motegi, Minister of Defense Kishi, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken and U.S. Secretary of Defense Austin held the 2 plus 2 Japan U.S. Security Consultative Committee meeting in Tokyo. Also on the same day, Minister Kishi and Secretary Austin held the Japan U.S. Defense Ministerial meeting. Through these opportunities, the two countries agreed to further deepen their cooperation in strengthening the alliance capabilities to deter and respond and also reaffirmed and expressed the following key points. In line with the vision of a free and open Indo-Pacific, Japan will strategically promote bilateral and multilateral defense cooperation and exchanges as part of multifaceted and multi-layered security cooperation. In May, the GSDF Amphibious Rapid Deployment Brigade and the Western Army Aviation Group conducted the multilateral exercise ARC-21 with the French Army and the U.S. Marine Corps at Camp Ainora, Kirishima Maneuver Area, and the Western Waters and Airspace of Kyushu on the occasion of French Training Squadron Jean d'Arc visiting Sasebo. This was the first field training exercise conducted with the French Army and the U.S. Marine Corps at the Maneuver Area in Japan. In addition, the MSDF conducted the multilateral exercise ARC-21 with the French, U.S., and Australian navies in the East China Sea. Through these exercises, Japan, France, the United States, and Australia would share the free and open Indo-Pacific vision further enhanced their cooperative relations and demonstrated at home and abroad the quadrilateral collaboration for remote island defense. 
From January to February, the ASDF conducted multilateral training COP21, mainly in Guam and surrounding areas. ASDF improved tactical skills through air defense combat and tactical attack training as well as enhanced interoperability with each Air Force through multilateral HADR training. From August to September 2021, UK Carrier Strike Group CSG-21 led by aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth visited Japan. Alongside was five Royal Navy vessel, one U.S. Navy vessel, and one Royal Netherlands Navy frigate joined CSG-21 and conducted a series of multilateral exercises with MSDF and ASDF from July to October, including multilateral exercises called Pacific Ground in the waters around Japan. MOD SDF welcomes the visit as a demonstration of Japan-UK defense cooperation standing on a long history and tradition has elevated to a new level. In November, FGS Bayern made a port call to Japan at the first German Navy ship in nearly 20 years. MSDF conducted a total of six exercises with FGS Bayern in the Gulf of Aden, Indian Ocean, and in the waters near Japan. This port call to Japan signifies the strong will of Germany to proactively contribute in the peace and stability of the Indo-Pacific region and become the important turning point for upholding and reinforcing the free and open Indo-Pacific. Such deepening of cooperation and exchanges lead to maintaining and strengthening the free and open Indo-Pacific and contribute to regional peace and stability. Since 2012, the MOD SDF has conducted capacity building activities in a variety of areas such as humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, peacekeeping operations, and maritime security for 15 countries in one organization in the Indo-Pacific and other regions. In March, the MOD provided an online capacity building program on heavy machinery maintenance to the Papua New Guinea Defense Force Engineer Battalion. This was the MOD's first assistance to the Engineer Battalion. Furthermore, in September, the MOD dispatched members of the GSDF Central Band to provide technical guidance on performance to the PNG Defense Force Military Band. Such initiatives not only strengthen the friendly relations between Japan and partner countries, but also contribute to creating a desirable security environment for Japan by enabling the recipient country's forces to undertake adequate roles in maintaining international peace and regional stability. In response to a request from the Tokyo Organizing Committee of the Olympic and Paralympic Games, the MOD SDF provided support for the administration of the Games, including ceremonies. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic support team, consisting of about 8,200 personnel from the ground, maritime and air self-defense forces, was temporarily organized to provide various support. In addition, 17 athletes from the SDF Physical Training School competed in a total of 10 events and attained outstanding achievements, winning three gold medals, one silver medal, and one bronze medal. What did you think of this video? The MOD SDF will continue to engage in a wide range of activities for the defense of Japan and international peace in order to protect the lives, property, and the peaceful livelihoods of the people.